So I'm going to show you a really easy way of lining your tins. This is what the finished product should look like. And it's really important that you line your tins before baking any cake to ensure that the cake doesn't stick to the side. And it also gives a really even finish, make sure that the centre of the cake cooks at the same time as the outer centre so it helps to avoid that really big peak. I also have another method which will bring that down and at the end it will mean that when you're levelling your cake you're not having to cut off so much which just increases wastage. So what I'm going to do, I've got my length of grease proof paper that I've cut here. This is um, for a six inch round and also it's about four inches tall as long as it's just as tall as the tin that's fine because we're not going to overfill these tins with cake batter to work out the circumference that you need a bit of maths here and um, you want to measure the diameter of your tin so this is six inches and we're going to multiply this by pi, which is 3.14. So you can do that and you can measure it out, or you can just wrap your roll around here and cut it to size. But that's fine. So we have that. And I've also cut out a square piece of paper that fits, is a little bit larger than the bottom of your pan. And I'll show you how to get a really neat circle as well that you get. So with this piece, for the length of the pan, we just want to about a centimetre and a half, just overlap this and we're going to cut what I like to call little teeth, about five centimetres, um, five millimetres or a centimetre apart, there's not really too much method to this but this will just make sure that it doesn't crease when you wrap it into the pan and it fits down really nicely. Then we want to take our square piece of paper. We're going to fold it away from ourselves in half so that the edges meet. Turn it, fold it again in half. Now this corner here where we have the flap, we're going to fold this to the next corner. So both these opposite corners are going to touch. And then we're going to keep your finger here and we're going to fold it again over itself. So we have a little triangle. Flip your pan over, find the centre of your pan, put the point to the centre as such. And where the overlap hits the edge of your pan, we're just going to cut a straight line across. And Ensuring that we've done this properly, you should get a little circle that will fit really neatly into the bottom of your pan. When it comes to greasing the pans, um, I don't buy those cooking sprays or the um, cake release sprays. Um, one, because you know it's another thing that you're trying to throw away, and we try to be really um, environmentally friendly here. I don't want another aerosol can that has to be thrown into landfill. So um, when you have your butter, Hold on to these, making sure that they're all in date. Um, and you can use the remaining butter that's been left to grease your pans. Really easy. If not, just get a cube of butter that you have and grease your pans that way. But, yeah, I'm not a big fan of these cake release sprays. They are fantastic, but if you want to kind of avoid having more weight packaging and wastage, it's a good way to go. So there we go, we're just going to grease the inside of the pan really quickly really easy. Take your longer piece of grease piece of paper and just pop this into the pan. And we're going to just push it up against the pan and push your little teeth down at the same time. Make sure it's as adhered as possible to the side. And I'm going to pop that around. There we go. Um, as you can see, my measure room was a tiny bit off and I've got a small gap here. So you can leave it or if you want to be really, if it is bothering you, sometimes I do this. You can just take another small piece, cut to size, and I'm just going to pop that in here. So that should be absolutely fine. 
Take your centerpiece and we're just going to push this nicely into the centre again. And there we have it, our tins are not lined and ready to go. Yeah. 